Amidst the rugged terrain and dense jungles of eastern Congo's Kivu province, a familiar specter looms large, the specter of conflict. From the bustling urban center of Goma to the strategic outpost of Sake, recent events have thrust this war-torn region back into the global spotlight. As the latest updates unfold, it becomes increasingly evident that the situation is rapidly evolving, with far-reaching implications for the stability of the entire Great Lakes region. The recent escalation in violence comes on the heels of an attack on a South African National Defense Force, Sandef base, in eastern DRC. Tragically, this attack resulted in the loss of two soldiers, with three others sustaining injuries. These casualties represent the first fatalities suffered by South African troops since their deployment to eastern Congo, underscoring the perilous nature of peacekeeping operations in the region. To understand the significance of these developments, it's crucial to provide some context. The presence of international peacekeeping forces in eastern Congo stems from decades of instability and conflict. Since the aftermath of the Rwandan genocide in 1994, the region has been plagued by violence, fueled by ethnic tensions, resource exploitation, and political rivalries. One of the most notorious armed groups to emerge from this turbulent landscape is the M23 rebel movement. Formed in 2012, the M23 rebels have waged a protracted insurgency against the Congolese government, vying for control of resource-rich territories in eastern Congo. Backed by neighboring Rwanda, the M23 rebels have posed a formidable challenge to the fragile peace in the region, exacerbating humanitarian crises and displacing countless civilians. The attack on the South African base represents a significant escalation in the conflict. It marks the first direct confrontation between international peacekeeping forces and the MM23 rebels, highlighting the growing tensions in eastern Congo. The targeting of South African troops underscores the gravity of the situation and the determination of the AM23 rebels to resist efforts to quell their insurgency. In response to the attack, South Africa has reaffirmed its commitment to the peacekeeping mission in eastern Congo, pledging to deploy additional troops to bolster its forces. With the influx of reinforcements, South Africa's contingent in the region is set to increase substantially, signaling a renewed push to confront the M23 rebels head-on. The escalation of violence has also raised concerns about the broader implications for regional stability. As tensions mount in eastern Congo, neighboring countries are closely watching developments, wary of being drawn into the conflict. The presence of international peacekeeping forces, including troops from South Africa and other SADC countries, underscores the regional dimension of the crisis and the need for a coordinated response. In the midst of escalating tensions, the role of international actors in eastern Congo has come under scrutiny. While peacekeeping forces play a vital role in stabilizing the region, their presence alone is not sufficient to address the root causes of the conflict. Sustainable peace in eastern Congo requires a multifaceted approach, including efforts to address governance issues, promote economic development, and foster reconciliation among warring factions. As South African troops prepare to confront the M23 rebels, the stakes have never been higher. The success of their mission will not only determine the fate of Eastern Congo, but also shape the broader security landscape of the Great Lakes region. With the humanitarian crisis worsening and civilian lives hanging in the balance, the international community must redouble its efforts to find a lasting solution to the conflict and bring peace to this long-suffering region.